Good morning, everyone. My name is Abhinav, and I represent the next generation here at Yashoda. I'd like to keep my speech below three minutes, so you can time me if you'd like. Good afternoon, everyone. It's my honor to be here today among pioneering clinicians, scientists, and technology leaders. We often hear that AI will transform healthcare, but I'd like to offer a sharper lens. AI will not replace doctors or will not replace hospitals, but doctors and hospitals that use AI will replace the ones that don't in future. We are witnessing a seismic shift, not just in diagnosis and drug discovery, but in the very architecture of how healthcare is delivered. Let's talk about three pivotal points from our vantage. First one, from sick care to predictive care. Right now, mostly healthcare is very, very reactive. A patient comes to us with a certain problem. We are very, very reactive. We are trying to intervene when things break out. But with AI, we can move from episodic care to continuous health management. Imagine a world where an oncology patient's recurrence is detected months in advance with wearable tech, let's say by change of voice or by voice modulation. Second point is on data. We don't lack data. India does not lack data. We're drowning in it. We just do not have a contextual intelligence at this point in time. An AI can now summarize a 200-page patient history in 20 seconds. It can detect anomalies across millions of scans. But the real unlock in AI is when an AI can reason and not just flag it off, or not just when it can reason. The third point that I would like to make is the, probably the more radical shift in healthcare, where we move from healthcare as a system to healthcare as a platform. This is perhaps the most radical shift. The future hospital will be less of a place and more of a platform, where AI augments triage, AI helps with telemedicine, diagnostics, and even surgical planning. And all of this, sir, requires collaboration. It requires collaboration between clinicians and coders. It requires collaboration between regulators and engineers. It requires collaboration between people who think 30 years away to people who think reiterate and change their thoughts every 30 days. In closing, I believe that the defining question of this decade is not can AI do what doctors do. It is can AI help doctors do what only doctors can do better, faster, and more humanely. This is the future we're excited to build.